Say now. What'd you say your name was again? Um, it's Ellie. Uh, Ellie Higginbottom. Oh, Ellie Higginbottom. Don't stop drinking now. We gotta get through this bottle today. Whoa. Where'd you get that from? Okay, so sometimes, sometimes I keep Gillette blades in my pocketbook, and, you know, maybe sometimes I use them. I usually cover up the scars with band-aids. I must admit, though, sometimes I felt a small, deep thrill whenever I'd see the bright seam of red well up just at the lip of the slash. I never told anyone, though. Oh, no, not a soul. This guy clearly saw it, all because of one stupid band-aid that went missing. Um, I have a, a cat back home, a, a very angry cat. <laughs> well, I don't see anyone or anything that could be angry with you. <laughs> I can't believe Doreen. We've only been here for an hour and she's already necking. That's okay, I guess. I don't see what the big deal is about kissing anyway. Isn't the scene really beautiful up here? I was surprised. It had been a dry, uninspiring little kiss, and I remember thinking it was too bad both our mouths were so chapped from walking five miles out in that cold wind. I just wanted to leave. Wow, what? Though he was someone that I did like at one point in my life, he still managed to disappoint me in the end, like everything else. And let's not talk about the first time I had sex. I wasn't even there. It happened too quick for me to even try to understand it all. Besides, in a way I felt as if it was about time, might as well get it over with. That's how I feel about everything lately. Um, I think I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm not feeling well. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine, I think I'm, I'm just, I, I'm just tired. Um, I know the way back to the hotel. Thank you for having me. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Sleep away everything, every problem, every person, every memory. I'm just going to sleep. And so I slept. I slept for hours. It was like I was on some type of high. Not really happy, but really anxious. Really excited for something that I didn't know about. Then after a while, the excitement started to fade. It seems like life was fading away. I couldn't grasp it anymore. Days seemed to pass me by and I, I no longer cared. I no longer answered my door. I guess you could say I really didn't even take full advantage of being in the city. So... I decided to do what I knew best. What got me in the city in the first place? What made me become that lucky girl who won that contest? So I decided to write 
write about anything, my feelings, even someone else's. I couldn't even do that right. At that point in my life, I realized that the only thing that kept my feet on the ground was writing, and I had lost that too. I've been given plenty of pills, sleeping pills, anxiety pills, you name it. Nothing seems to stop how I'm feeling. Where's my sanity going? I I can't tell the real from the fake. I I don't know who I am anymore. I think the only time I was genuinely happy was when I was nine years old, before my father died. 